It was arguably the finest battle rifle in World War II, admired and respected by soldiers on both sides. It offered hard-hitting rapid firepower for America's GIs on the battlefield. The 30 caliber M1 Garand is now one of history's guns. History remembered and sponsored by the Civilian Marksmanship Program. If you know your history, you know the Garand. The M1 Garand was a real world-class military weapon. America was suddenly at war. In 1941, we enter the fight barely prepared for the conflict ahead. But our mobilizing GIs already had one advantage over the enemies they were about to face. A standard issue, powerful, semi-auto service rifle, the M1 Garand. It's interesting when you consider that during World War II, the United States was the only major power whose troops were primarily issued with a semi-auto frontline battle rifle. And the advantage would serve American troops on every front throughout the Second World War. But there was more to the M1 Garand than just its semi-auto capability. Well, the U.S. was lucky in World War II being armed very simply with the finest frontline infantry rifle of the war. No question about it. Uh, no lesser a person than General George C. Patton called the M1 Garand the greatest battle implement ever devised. It was an uh, absolutely superb weapon. And devising that superb weapon began after World War I as the American military considered how to arm its troops for future battles. The U.S. decided they wanted a semi-auto rifle as a replacement for the 1903 U.S. Springfield, a superb bold action, but a firearm that the U.S. military realized was starting to outlive its time. But the U.S. did not want to replace the O3's powerful 30-06 cartridge. The challenge was to create an uncomplicated rifle rugged enough for combat with a semi-auto action capable of handling the pressures created by the potent 30-06 round. This, no easy task. Over the following decade and a half, one particular designer worked and reworked his blueprints for the battle rifle that would later become a legend. It was designed by its namesake, a Canadian uh, named John Garand, French-Canadian. He uh, worked for Springfield Army for a while as a consulting engineer and came up with a superb gas-operated eight-shot uh, semi-auto rifle. In 1937, it was officially designated the U.S. rifle caliber 30 M1, but better known as the Garand. The Springfield Armory would build them, and before long, America had its first semi-auto primary service rifle, and the GIs had a powerful and fiercely accurate fighting tool. The rifle itself was a superb piece. Part of its magic lay in this clever rotating bolt system. It worked, and it worked very well. The heart of the system involved the fact that it was loaded by an eight-round on-block clip, which is one of the gun's greatest strengths, and it's also one of its greatest weaknesses. You can easily load eight rounds very quickly and go ahead and fire. The last round, uh, the clip itself was ejected. The uh, action stayed open. You could immediately load again with eight rounds and, and, and go ahead and fire. The downside was that you could not load individual rounds into the rifle very easily. It, it worked well, and uh, the soldiers got used to it. Regardless, GIs trusted the Garand for its reliable, fast, and accurate firepower throughout the toughest fighting of World War II, and later again in the harsh conditions of the Korean War. The Garand served America and her allies with almost five and a half million produced, until in 1957 it was replaced by the M14 chambered in 308. Though the M1's days as a frontline service rifle have passed, its appreciation continues to grow among enthusiasts and competitive shooters 
around the world. Not only was it good as a battle rifle, it ended up being a very accurate and a good match gun as well. And there were lots of matches fired with M1 Garands. A fine, fine, fine weapon. One that's difficult to beat. And as you know, the CMP has both M1s for sale to collectors and matches for Garand shooters more than 80 years after the M1 was first adopted. That's the staying power of John Garand's design. And You've made it this far in the video, and for that, we thank you. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel, and we'll keep the uploads coming.